What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. I talk all about trading Forex and stocks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Happy to have you here. Today, we're going to be talking about something that is very, very interesting to me. We are going to be talking about retail positioning. And this is basically the concept or the idea of seeing what retail traders are doing. Now, how many of you guys watching this video, I'm sure that I'm gonna have some people who have heard this before. How many of you guys have heard that 90% plus of retail traders suck at trading? How many? I mean, honestly, this was like the first thing or one of the first things that I heard when I was a new trader and it definitely set me off because I was like, man, that seems like a really high lose rate for people who are getting involved with this. What makes me think I'm gonna be different? Well, it is. there's a lot to that, but uh, today we're going to identify one concept that I find very, very interesting, which is looking at the positions of those people who are losing. So, if we know that 90% of traders are losing in the financial markets, and we know this from broker data because brokers have come out and shared information as to uh, how much, how many of their clients actually make or lose money. And that has been uh, kind of a, I'm sure plenty of legal uh, battles basically where, you know, you have to leave a disclaimer on, on some brokers in some countries where it's like, hey, uh, if you're gonna sign up with our broker, please know that 85, 90, 95% of clients don't make money. Okay, so that, that is like some reliable data because I think there's plenty of lawsuits and legal stuff. Not my area of expertise, don't quote me. Uh, but the idea here is that we definitely have a good idea that most people lose money in trading. And so this concept here of understanding, hey, well, what if we could actually see what the retail traders were doing? So if we know that retail traders are losing money, then we probably don't wanna do the same thing as them. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys a tool here on our website that we put up uh, for free. It's actually a widget on another uh, company's site. They've shared it with uh, publicly with people and we've just pasted it on our site. So you can get it from our place or their place. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get that in just a minute. But this is basically what we're gonna be talking about today. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the retail positioning tool uh, that myfxbook.com has actually provided and made available for the public to use. So we've posted it on our website. You can either go to uh, myfxbook.com and go find it on their site, or you can just come to our site, a1trading.com, and just click under or go hover over the trade ideas segment and just go down to retail sentiment. Scroll down to here and this is where I'm looking. So on the retail sentiment side, what we're looking at is the current active positions of people who use myfxbook.com. If you're not familiar with this site, it is a very popular site in the Forex world. And so there's a lot of users here who are sharing through the, the site, basically their positions, what they think is going on with different pairs. And this tells us some very, very interesting information and has become a part of my personal analysis. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the COT reports. This is another component that I find interesting. So in the COT reports video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We talk about the concept of looking at net non-commercial positions and bigger players in the game to see what their positions might be showing us. Well, this is kind of the flip side, but equally as you know helpful in my opinion, if not more important actually. Retail positions are shown here. We can actually see on this table all the different major markets for the most part and we can see in this column what their positions are and the reason this is so interesting is going back to that stat 90 percent of people are losing well here's a window into what they're doing if that's not interesting or at least tickles your brain i don't know what will for traders because this is really really interesting to me because it's like okay well let's take a look at the dollar canadian if we know by hovering over this tool, that the dollar Canadian has 28% of traders short currently, and 71% of traders who have shared their positions on this site long, this is very interesting because this is what? This basically tells us that retail thinks it's a buy. So guess which way I'm gonna be looking to trade this. Not every time, this is not a 
Please know that this tool is not gonna give you a secret weapon that's gonna magically print you money. That is not what I wanna portray. This is a free tool. If it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. With that little disclaimer said, when we know that retail is buying, that gives us some pretty interesting information. If we know that retail is very heavily invested in trying to be long, trying to buy this market, what we tend to see, not always, but a lot of the times and in, in a significant way, we see some sort of tendency for the market to stop hunt, to run lower, right? If they're buying and the price is coming down and they're, they're buying into this, they're saying, oh, it's time to buy. And we see this, we get a lot of people who get stopped out, they lose money, they freak out. All that sort of stuff happens to retail traders. And knowing this information, can potentially allow us to position ourselves against retail. Now, again, going back to my disclaimer, let me say this. Sometimes retail wants to long and the market actually does go up, okay? So do not think that just because retail thinks it's gonna go higher, that it can't go higher. It totally can. There are times where this happens where retail gets it right. There are times where the dumb money actually ends up winning. If you've ever been a losing trader, which I guess everyone has, right? You know that sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you just catch a good trade and you don't really know why. Sometimes you do know why and it just it just happened to work out, right? Everybody takes winners. Everybody takes losses. So sometimes retail is going to get it right. Not always. That's why, that's why I don't want people to say, oh, retail is long. I'm going to go all in short because that would make you equally as dumb. Because if you're all in trying to fight the smart, uh, the dumb money, right? Sometimes the dumb money is right. So we can't expect this to give us the secret answer, the secret formula. What we can do though, is we can use this information to maybe provide us with a slight, not super huge, but a slight bias on direction. So again, what does that tell me? I still wanna be doing all my other good practices, risk management, looking for proper setups, keeping an eye maybe on the fundamentals. Uh, so we've got all those things in check. Now we look at this, for example, and let's say that we're looking at the Euro Yen. We know that retail, based on the numbers on this site, is heavily short. 68% of retail traders are shorting this market. Now, retail is short, so we actually wanna be looking for longs. Right, so let's say retail is short and the market's coming down, right? And retail's getting excited. They're saying, oh, it's time to sell, it's time to sell, it's coming down, we're making our money back. This may actually be a great time to evaluate this scenario and say, hey, retail is super short. I wanna be long because I wanna go with the, major uh, the minority. It pays to be in the minority a lot of times on some of these positions. So maybe I actually want to look for a long setup and anticipate that retail traders are gonna freak out and lose money. That is the concept that we can apply. Now, it doesn't mean that just because this says we should long, that we long at any time. It still means we have to use all of our other technicals. Maybe we're looking for support and resistance. Maybe we're looking for other fundamental keys that could give us a stimulus to move higher. We have, we have to combine this concept with other things to increase our chances of success. We don't wanna just say, hey, this says we should long and then go all in long and be just as stupid as we started. <laughs> don't let that be you. We wanna use this as a tool. This is all it is. It is, not a, it is not a magical crystal ball money printing machine. It is purely a simple concept to take a lens or, or you know, look into the positions of retail traders to perhaps trade against them when it makes sense to do so. So that is how I use retail uh, sentiment to potentially filter out some trades, maybe look to join trades that are in favor of the minority, okay? So uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. Before you leave, I've got to show you how you can get this. So you can actually go to the trade ideas segment uh, or tab on our website. You can go to a1trading.com here at the top. This is our website that we put, it to, put tons of free stuff out on. So do me a favor, if you made it to the end of the video here, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave us a little bit of feedback, support, uh, help us out on the website as well. We've got tons of free tools for you. Not just this tool, but a bunch. So you can actually go down to 
detail sentiment. If you want to click this one, that's going to take you to what I just showed you. But we've also got free articles and we've got free uh, just different market analysis things coming out that you can get access to completely free, no strings attached. Uh, also, if you go to the trade ideas tab and just click it there, this is gonna allow you to go right down here. And this is gonna give you the option to subscribe to our free market newsletter. We've got multiple people working very hard to put out some of the best market coverage available right now for Forex traders. So if you are not already, go subscribe to that market analysis newsletter. Just click here, you put in your newsletter email uh, and you'll start receiving notifications from us about upcoming market events, strategies, concepts, uh, trade ideas, all of this sort of good stuff that we share here on the YouTube channel, but in text form if you prefer that. So definitely go check that out. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on YouTube as well. Support us wherever you can. We do appreciate it. We do uh, put this stuff out for free in the hopes that you know we get uh, some sort of positive feedback. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.